the forehead of your robot. Faceless. That's a word I'll never forget, after watching that disturbing Spongebob tape. It all started in 2018. As I was checking my mailbox, I noticed a VHS tape with the words, Faceless, scribbled onto it with a red sharpie. I picked it up and popped it into my VCR, just to see what this was all about. There is no intro or title card, as it just skips to the episode. Squidward woke up in the middle of the night, and went outside to go to work, but he didn't see Spongebob or Patrick, which was strange. Suddenly, Squidward hears muffled screaming, sounding like Spongebob and Patrick. Squidward started panicking, and checked Spongebob's house. The door was locked, so he checked Patrick's rock. Nobody was seen. Then, Spongebob and Patrick started to walk up to him, and the muffled screams became louder. Squidward saw them. They were faceless. No mouth, no eyes, no nose, nothing. Just their blank, smooth heads. Squidward screamed to the top of his lungs, but nobody could hear him. He ran to the Krusty Krab to see if Mr. Krabs was okay, but he was just faceless too. Faceless fish were sitting at their tables, trying to eat their Krabby Patties, but to no avail. Squidward heard even more muffled screams, as a crowd of people started walking slowly into the Krusty Krab. Squidward ran to Jellyfish Fields, but eventually passed out when he got there. Squidward woke up in a dark room, with a splatter of blood on the walls, he was laying on a surgical table, with various painful medical tools right next to him. Squidward was sweating, as a dark figure approached him, and said in a calm voice, This won't hurt that much. It cut to a black screen, with Squidward screaming in agony, as blood splattering and flash tearing could be heard, until his screams finally stopped. It went back to Squidward, with him waking up in jellyfish fields. He was trying to scream, but he had no face. Then the tape ended. I wish I could just magically erase this from my memory, but no, I still have to live with this memory like a permanent scar. If you happen to see any disturbing VHS tape you didn't order in your mailbox, never play it.